is News 8 Now. Plus, oxygen on campus, the new device that saved this teen's life. Technology to help students breathe easy. Does your child's school have it? Defibrillators to jumpstart the heart have saved several Texas students this year who suffered sudden cardiac arrest at school. But one North Texas district has invested in a new technology, the first one to help students breathe easy. We get details tonight from Channel 8's Janet St. James. Baseball is everything to 17-year-old Brody Justice. A few weeks ago during practice, the bats, bases, and his breath faded suddenly. Next thing you know, I'm hyperventilating, and that's the last thing I can remember is just uh, waking up in a tub, in a cold tub, and having the oxygen uh, mask on my face. That's the last I remember. The fact that Wakeland High School in Frisco even had oxygen on campus is unusual. Oxygen tanks are typically bulky, expensive, and flammable. We keep this in plain sight. This is our oxygen. Recently, Frisco ISD bought 110 OxySure units. The portable machines provide medical grade oxygen without the combustible danger. This is a first for schools. Um, it's a great tool, especially for asthmatic athletes. It helps them if their inhaler is not helping, and it is a true athletic asthmatic emergency, then um, it helps us before if we have to call EMS or it helps us to where we can calm them down to where we don't have to call EMS. Asthma is a huge issue in schools affecting more than five million children nationwide. It's also the number one cause of absentees. For years, schools have had no means to help students having breathing difficulties, even though asthma can be a medical emergency. District officials hope the $65,000 investment in these oxygen units will pay off by helping students avoid respiratory crises. Statistically, a person is 300 times more likely to need oxygen than an AED, which Frisco ISD also stocks in schools. How many times have you had to use the defibrillator? Zero. The oxygen at Wakeland High School has already been used three times by the school nurse alone. Here we go. And then um, the directions are on the lid. It's easy as one, two, three. Brody Justice isn't asthmatic, but he admits he is lucky. Not lucky that it happened, but lucky to have the oxygen. He hopes that good fortune stays with him during baseball season. Janet St. James, Channel 8 News.